Hey guys, everything that's kind of going on, but a lot of this stuff has already been going on, but it just seems to have sped up a lot. Um, it's time to weep, to humble ourselves and weep between the porch and the altar. That was a dream I had last night. Second Chronicles 7 14, which is one of my favorite scriptures, but you know, I don't know. And I just was thinking, it was on my mind right before I went to bed. I was kind of drifting into sleep, and then, then it became a dream all night long. The Lord wants us to humble ourselves, repent, turn from our wicked ways. Then he'll hear from heaven. It's time to get a hold of him, guys. That's why I put out the 5 a.m. call for prayer. It's just a great time. You might have different times to pray. All oh, that's good. Pray whenever you can and all the time. But 5 a.m. because it starts the day. By 7 in the morning or however long you pray, a couple hours or an hour, whatever you pray, 6, whenever you start the day, suddenly you've had that prayer piece in. And it ushers in the day. Because we really got to pray together as a country, guys. So the more that we can, more of us that can pray at that particular time, better. I don't always pray at that time. I try to, but there's times where I'm just, man, I'm wiped out or exhausted or whatever, and I just can't get up. Because um, what the Lord has me doing right now is kind of burning the candle at both ends. Yes, I could do some things that my own ability that might make it a little bit easier, but I told my wife, I said, you know, I'm kind of on the wheel on this one. And I really don't want to get off because the Lord's still working some stuff out of me and so it's like okay god what's next i'm just gonna kind of just go through this process just kind of feel that's where i need to be but all that being said guys i wonder where all this is heading to because the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy and he's lying to lie to us about everything, guys. That's where the Isaiah 27 1 comes in. Twisted, everything's twisted up. Sneaky serpent. But the enemy day is at hand. The Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is gonna lift up a sword, which is his word, and cut the head off. That spirit, that Leviathan spirit. God's done with this mess, guys coronavirus, all this other stuff. It's a prelude storm. It may be a big one. It's headed that way. There are real, real storms are coming, guys. I don't know what they are. I'm not trying to sensationalize them, but that's why I put that out. I got that dream over a year ago, last year, before 8-11. And I thought it was then. The whole country was ablaze for a month, guys. A hundred foot tall flames. Look at my video. I saw part headed to it. I saw people with wheelbarrows full of money dumping it on it. It has no value. Guys, I'm not the doom and gloom guy either, though. What I'm telling you is it's time to get to weep between the porch and the altar. Get a hold of God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Never. It's a bad time. This is just like a, a warning from the Lord. <clears throat> He's allowed it to happen to kind of shake us up a little bit. To get people's attention. Not good. I get it. Nobody likes it. I get it. It's headed somewhere though, guys. And so we can do one of two things. We well, can just take it seriously and try to do what everybody's telling us on the media to do and stuff and turn to the government, which is another part of the lie, honestly. No, I appreciate their effort, but that's not, it just gets all pretty twisted up. Where's this $2 trillion coming from, guys? It's just added to the, it's just going to add to the debt. It's not a solution. What's $2,000 per person, even if that's that, 4000 or 1000 2000 and it's going to, you know, that'll help out for a month. 
most of us, some of us, they won't even do that. Then what? So where, where are all the people that are locked up in California and other places in New York, I think, too? But Dallas, sort of, partially, kind of, messy, part of the twisted up truth. I get the seriousness of it, guys. I understand that it is, you know, I get that part. But we've got to have a answer, and the answer's coming from God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Not from our government, not from the news media, not from all this twisted up stuff. What do you think all this, you know, they call it fake news? Well, there's there's all this other stuff is surreal. It's unreal. A lot of rabbit holes we could go down here, guys. People are saying that on the internet it's just so full of stuff. And, you know, somebody created in Russia and all this, you know, very quite possible. Guys, we're still... People are still debating over who shot JFK from 50 years ago. Some of it makes some sense. Some of it's just crackpot conspiracy junk. That's polluting. All the stuff is polluting our mind, guys. Is what I'm trying to my point <clears throat> to the reality. That God's trying to get our attention, as a nation and as a world, and get us to trust in Him. Man, don't you think? I mean, it's not just a story, guys. Don't you think all the different people in, in the Bible, the Red Sea, man, they were, you know, Moses, you brought us out here, and Pharaoh's gonna kill us. Well, yeah, that enemy was pounding the pavement, guys, about ready to kill him. Gonna kill him. Army chasing him down. He, Moses used what he had, which was a staff. He didn't know what was caught and what God was gonna do. And that's where the prayer piece comes in. So much importance, guys, getting before him, crying out to him, calling on his name. In time of time of need, we need God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word to help in time of trouble. And it's just going to compound because I'll just pick one little piece apart, but take California, guys. Now they got, you know, their own police force. The National Guards could be called out if it hasn't already. I don't really keep up too much with the news because I kind of turned it off because I don't want to get bogged down. And I watch a little bit of it on the Internet, but so forgive me if I'm a little out of the loop. I don't know, police force, do we really trust that guy that's, you know, an abortion fanatic on, on steroids, kind of, you know, not really. As a Christian, should you? No, you shouldn't. Unless if you're just one of those lukewarm Christians claiming to be a Christian, it's time to really get real, guys. Because there's some stuff coming. That it's going to take God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word to get us through. And our trust in Him. That's what, you know, there you go. It's on the coffee cup. <clears throat> there's my banner. Really, there's where my trust is, though, guys. And that's what I'm telling you. So I'll meet you there. I, you know, you don't have to come to my house. We'll all be in our own houses or whatever, wherever. It's just time to get rid of this. This, this mess. And we're going to win this battle in the spirit, not in the flesh. Not in trust in our government. Not in trust, you know, yes, pray for them and all that. I get all that. I understand all that. And that's very necessary. And we should. So they start making a little bit better decisions. They're kind of grasping at the wind. Everybody's grasping at straws, natural, you know, doctors don't know what to do. Um, God does. Jesus does, the Holy Ghost does, His Word does. Nothing we make up is going to change it, guys. There's been plenty of diseases and plagues throughout time. I'm not discounting that. I'm not going to take it seriously. I may even take some precautions, you know, some, to a point. <clears throat> 
But what are we going to, what are we going to do? I'm going to end with this. What are we going to do? Everybody's like, you know, stay home, stay home, stay home, stay home, shelter up, close up, hold up. Okay, great. Now it's April 30th, all the, you know, talking about di different distancing rules and all that stuff. It's probably not going to end if we leave it in the arm of the flesh, guys. This is going to get way worse. So what are we going to do in three months? Everybody's locked down and they tell you to stay home. What are you going to do if the power company people are told to stay home? No lights, no camera, no microwave, no grocery stores. Guys, get real. It's time to it's time to weep between the porch and the altar, guys. I'm telling you the seriousness of it is not the coronavirus, the seriousness of it. We gotta get it right with God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the Word. No more games, no more lukewarm Christianity, no more sitting on the fence, no more. And it's not just because all of a sudden, six months ago, three months ago, if you would have told people they're going to have to close their businesses and the light's going to flip, get flipped off and everybody's going to get locked up in their houses, and they would look at you like you're nuts. And if you had said coronavirus, they would look at you like you're real nuts. Nobody even heard of it. Or, well, you know, maybe it's three months ago, but six months ago, not really. Or however long ago it was, forgive me if my facts aren't perfectly correct you get the point so five a.m meet you there see you in the morning early morning prayer let's pray as a nation kind of like the pole larry kate larry the cable guys get her done guys okay love you i'm talking to you soon